fair. <laughs> Don't break my glasses. I want you to start being friendlier. Someone roll up the window. <laughs> now you're gonna break them. Time out, time out, time out. <laughs> time in. Time in. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going, Alex? <laughs> so, the moral of that story is you, you can see that I'm not even out of breath because I'm pretty in shape. If you want the front seat, just take it. He's gone. I can get right in here in this Dodge and just take it. So, if your friends don't want to be friendly and show the affection that you deserve, take the front seat. That's the moral of the story. Don't be afraid to take the front seat. Bye, Alex. talking Idaho, Snake River, the canyons, the cornfields on top of them. There's a ton of ducks, tons of geese. This year, good buddy Warren Coco hooked us up with one of the Mac Daddy boats of them all, as well as a 35 horsepower uh, surface drive motor. And I'm telling you what, guys, go devil, the foul life, we're where the ducks want to be. Let's ride. <laughs> Get him. Nice shot, Chad. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you what, Save it's not always go. paradise. It's a week after Thanksgiving. Kids were off school for four days. A lot of public That's areas were, were pressured. And uh, just need a new push of ducks. A 60% chance of snow tomorrow. So there might be some ducks moving in in front of this uh, colds front. So. We're here for another day, and then we're headed up to Denver, Colorado, and then on to Hutchinson, Kansas. But we're having a great time, and uh, hey, we're knocking them out. We got four greenheads so far and a widgeon now, but uh, hey, we're in it to win it. That duck's gonna eat nice tonight. I got the lid out. Them bull spring. I think we could have killed them. I think so too. But yeah. they got out. They would have got out so fast. I mean, you would have had to get on them. That's why you need them fully committed before you pull that lid, you know. I know. To where they got to back flap about exactly. 12 times to get up yeah. and elevate themselves. Right here, right here, right here. Right here. Cooperate, Widgeon. Nice work. Hey, it's tough, man. It is tough. No sunshine, no wind, but we're grinding it. I like grinding. Slower. We could go back in time. But I'm just down home, Southern. Y'all don't need nothing, just enough to get me by. No friends in her age when you shake a man's hand, looking queer. Good 
Big snowstorm, guys. Big snowstorm, Idaho. I'm talking 8, 10 inches last night. Hasn't stopped yet. I mean, it's literally been snowing for 20 straight hours. It started snowing halfway through our hunt on the Snake River yesterday. Now we're back over by Boise, and uh, it's snowing like crazy. So we've decided to hit a dry cornfield. Not really dry, but uh, a lot of geese and ducks in this area right here, and we're going to uh, give it a shot. Our last day up here with good buddy Chad Ryan. I'm excited to say this is what waterfowl hunters dream of. Fresh snow and uh, cool temperatures, low sky, birds coming off low, the honkers just moaning, being lazy, and the mallards are looking to feed. They're starting to panic, and uh, we're going to give them something to feed on and uh, go from there. Get him! Whoa! Nope, nope. Get him! Whoa. Oh, Lord. Nice, oh, baby. baby! That's what I'm talking about. Oh. That was pretty. Did you see him break down up top? Did you see him break apart? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right on top. Right on top. Here we go. Here we go. Come right on. Come to the left, buddy. Get him! No more drinks. Look at the feathers. Good night. How many? I saw two green heads fall right yeah. here. <laughs> that was absolutely beautiful. Did you want to kill him? Yeah. Here we go again. We're involved in another bet. All of a sudden, Chad wants to bet that whoever shoots a hen has to buy everybody beer for the night. It's overcast days. It's pretty hard to pick out the ducks. You gotta be on your A game. Get him, guys. Woo! Who shot the hen? Smack down out in front, baby. Who shot the hen? You shot a hen? Yeah. <laughs> I 
was you're not buying even beer, me. baby. I thought it was four you're drinks, buying. you said. No, it was three drinks and a hen. <laughs> <laughs> So happy right wah, now. Wah, wah, wah. Dad buying beer. Oh! You lied to me, Brian. You said it was four drinks. Don't. I didn't lie to you. I'm so happy right now. I thought you said that to me. I was like, I didn't. That was absolutely not it. What, do these guys got to cheat to win a bet on me because I won last week? Four ducks come in. Ryan's sitting there going, they're, it's, they're all four drakes. They're all four drakes. I pull up my smoke one. I know it was a drake, but now these guys are going nuts. Look like a bunch of circus clowns running around saying, Belding shot a hen, Belding shot a hen, Belding's buying beer. Get in, come on. I said they were all drakes, but yeah. then when it oh, fell, yeah, I was like, that's a hen. Yes! I didn't lose. I didn't lose. I did not shoot a hen. I knew it was a drake. Hey guys and girls, Chad here. Wanted to announce the 2011 Bandit Calls North American Tour. We've teamed up with partner Shield Sports and we'll be attending all their upcoming waterfowl events this summer. Find us at any of their locations, grab a free t-shirt, get a free poster. Hope to see you guys there. Become a fan at facebook.com slash banditnation. Too high. No, 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 the one I was oh, on. Oh, the, the one that I was on wasn't too high. I pulled up on that top burn. <laughs> I, oh, I saw no, it. I saw no, it after no. I shot. I was like, spin in on the left. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get those two drinks in the hole. What? Shoot him! <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. oh my goodness. Super How many we get? At least three. Yeah. At least I, three. I pulled up on two. Yeah. I mean, I think me and Jake or whoever crushed that. Yeah. I can't believe that last one got up. <clears throat> Kill that drink out front. Oh! <laughs> Ouch! In the back of the head. Is that you, Alex? Get him. Oh! 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 Nice shot. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. All right, guys, Josh Long here with Band of Retrievers. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about taking your dog back to school. Going back to school is an important part of keeping your, your retriever balanced and maintained throughout the year. And this is something that you can do in the summertime. And what you want to do is take your dog and go back through all the basics. I mean, I'm talking sit, stay, heel, heel, heel kennel. You know, all of your basic core training concepts and go through them and make sure they're cleaning them up because we all know that as the season progresses, dogs get a little loose. We get a little lax with the collar. We don't take care of things like we're supposed to. You know, so this is the perfect time to make those adjustments and clean them up. And the biggest one you really want to focus on is heel, the heel command, because I see it way too many times that you get a dog that's been three, four years old and has you know, seen many and many seasons of hunting, and they get a little loose on their heel. And the heel command, as we all know, is, is the most instrumental part of lining that dog up for a blind. And if he's not healing, you you got problems in your hands. So, Go back, go through the sit, stay, here, heel, kennel, and make sure that the heel's cleaned up and 
to where that dog is doing exactly what you want him to do. So when you line him up for a blind, your dog's gonna pick it up every time. We don't have to do a bunch of random handling just to get the dog squared away. So, you know, guys, make sure, go through the summer months and, and go through the basics and get your dog up to speed. Follow us at twitter.com slash banded nation. Hold them. Oh, good night. <laughs> Was there just one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now go get him. Someone go get him. Yeah. Right now. Watch him. <laughs> you got him, Alex? Yeah, I got him. That was beautiful, baby. Like, I'm going like this. I go hand <laughs> underneath the hand, and he yeah, gets no. down. That hand just got right in my way, too. You got him. You got him. We got him. Man, that was pretty. Oh, he's busted up. <laughs> Yeah, but the thing about shooting that heavy shot and heavy metal is that it goes right through them, Alex. Have you ever, in the last three years since we've been shooting main, all heavy, have you ever been into a BB? Nope. Never. Nope. There's more than left. Hey, Alex, Alex, hurry up, super group. I'm not kidding. I'm talking, I'm talking <laughs> the four tenors. Drake on the left, Drake on the left. Get him. Oh! oh. <laughs> Whoever shot that, that you're done. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Yeah. He was five feet. I couldn't even. I couldn't even shoot. I just wanted to watch it. Oh God! Beautiful. Pour his mouth off. Three more. I couldn't not. I could not call that shot. No. Absolutely. He was just floating so perfect that he's got to take up the whole screen and just. He's so pretty. And, he's so pretty. So pretty. <laughs> On the left, Tyler. Mm -hmm. Keep coming on the left. Kill that Drake! Oh! oh! He did four flips! The new world record! <laughs> he flipped four times! <laughs> Them choke tubes are unreal. God, I love that. I love when your camera guy's telling you it's a Drake. <laughs> <laughs> that had to have been so pretty. <laughs> Watch this Drake out there. <laughs> on the left, come across. Coming back around. Behind you. Get him. Oh, oh baby! <laughs> 20 gauge smackdown to end the day. You got a mark on yeah, him? I, I got him. him. <laughs> We're done. Unload him. 28. Nice Green team, heads. Bro. Idaho Jake, style. Love it. Absolutely love it. We had a ton of snow come in last night, like a foot. We knew. We knew that we were going to have a smash hunt, so we we're actually supposed to head to Colorado today, and we decided to talk and we said, we're going to hang out and get another good hunt, and sure enough, we got an awesome hunt. That was unbelievable. 
Escort 20 gauge, smack down, heavy shot, three inch number twos out of the 20. Good night. Heavy shot, Good choke job. twos. Jake, thank you. Five is. You're all right with those. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So there you have it. Another Idaho excursion comes to an end. And I don't lose bets in Idaho. Chad, I'm sorry, buddy. I know you look like Richard Simmons or somebody laying on the beach right now. And uh, I apologize. I'm going to give you another shot next year at the title. I love you, brother. You're one of my best friends. I truly appreciate everything you do for myself as well as the Bandit Nation team. Jake Lowe, thank you very much for your hospitality. I look forward to many more great hunts with you as well, bud. And guys, I'm telling you, that's what it's all about here at the Bandit Nation and Foul Life is we have a great team and we got a ton of confidence in them. And when we're on the road like we are daily, it's so nice to be able to pull into a place like Chad Ryan's house or Jake Lowe's house in Idaho and just know that we're gonna have a special five or six days together. So there you have it, guys. Idaho 2010, it's a wrap. Join us on Facebook and Twitter or BanditNation.com. And uh, we truly appreciate all the support of our fans as well as our sponsors and partners. See you guys next week. Broken white lines and headlights Rain splashing down, covering the glass My vision blurred, but not my sight Radio plays another tune And world signs saying it won't be long Four states in six days Chasing my dreams, this can't be wrong Cause it's the rising of the sun it's a bite in the air Anticipation rides in my veins A day like this must be rare My foul life is in full swing No telling what tomorrow may bring So let it fly, cover the sky